Hi, my tubies, my TikTokers. Here. I want to share this with you. Open your mouth. Here. Hmm. What you're about to hear now is the best advice you are going to hear along the way in life. And I have always agreed with this. I've always felt this way. That it's not good for you to tell a man that you're dating about your past traumas and the abuse that you went through from your previous partners. Because that's going to make him think that that's what you're used to. So it shouldn't be a problem if he uh, treats you badly as well. Like usually I just say we didn't work out. We, we grew apart. We just didn't see eye to eye. You know, uh, he was very narcissist. Or I'll usually tell someone, you know, he was unfaithful to me. And I'm going to let you know it ain't about no trauma. I'm letting you know straight out the gate. You don't get to roll the dice twice when you cheat, do cutthroat, or she was true love. Yeah, they cheated on me and I dead them immediately. Some women will give a second chance. I'm not her. And if they want to, you know, uh, challenge that or try to see if that's true. Yeah, they'll find themselves asked out. Excuse my French. But anyway, without further ado, listen in. They think that I told that every boyfriend I had before him treated me like a princess. This advice right here is gold and every woman needs to take this. Do not tell a man that you are dating or will date in the future about trauma and abuse that you suffered from previous partners. And I've heard this from multiple therapists as well. The reason that she gives in her video for why she does this is because she's trying to set the standard really high. She tells her, her, the current guy that she's dating that her previous partners all treated her like a princess. And so now that's the standard for you too. And so if this dude treats her like anything less than a princess, well then there's something wrong with him because all of these guys were able to do it. So why can't you, right? And I love that. I think that is a great philosophy. The reason, though, that I was told by multiple therapists not to tell dudes that you're dating about your past trauma and abuse is because you are essentially putting a target on your back. If this man is an abuser, you just told him that you're victim worthy. And it's even worse if you go into great gruesome detail about the abuse that you suffered from the previous partner because you've just given him the cheat codes to your attachment issues. If the new guy you're dating is the kind of guy who's going to lie to you, cheat on you, use you, manipulate you, and you tell him all of my previous partners lied to me, cheated on me, used me, and manipulated me, then you just told him that he is going to be able to get away with that with you. And let me tell you, these abusers nowadays, they're smart and they have access to the same internet that you and I do. And so they will hang out in self-help communities or therapy communities and learn the language and co-opt that therapeutic language to make themselves, present themselves as a, as a safe space to you so that you will open up and just pour your heart out. And then they will use that shit against you later. They will use it to gaslight you. They will use it to get away with their poor behavior with you later. They will use it to, to switch the role of victim and abuser and make you seem like the abuser and them seem like the victim. You just keep that shit to yourself. If they ask you about previous relationships, you just tell them that, you know, oh, we weren't compatible. It just didn't work out. We were different places in our lives. Keep it real simple. If they are an abuser, if they are there simply to seek a victim, if they were hunting, they're going to get bored with you and move on because you don't seem like a victim to them. This is a good vetting strategy to help weed out the abusers from the men who are actually there seeking love and connection with you because if they're there for you, they're not going to keep probing you about it. They're going to let it go and they're going to continue the relationship. An abuser is going to get bored with you. Always take it as a red flag if he is probing you for more details about any trauma or abuse that you suffered. He is not trying to be a safe space for you. He is trying to figure out your weak points. And there you have it, my darling. She's speaking nothing but the utmost utter truth. Now, when it comes to being treated like a princess, I don't want nobody treating me like a princess because I'm not a child. No, I want to be treated like a queen. The queen that I am. My queen king is JC. I already told you I'm married, honey. I am happily married to the most amazing husband in the universe, JC. Great provider protector, leader, teacher. 
I'm not interested in these imperfect, fickle, shallow, superficial, abusive, <laughs> circus clowns out here. If that's all you feel you deserve, I don't know what to tell you. But personally, me, I'm going to hang out with JC. He's awesome. <laughs>